Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Utah. I'm kind of continuing my whole Utah shipping container home spree. I'm actually five minutes down the road from Envas Casa, which if you can see that video, uh, that is a different shipping container home I shot just yesterday actually of filming this video. But today, completely different vibe of a shipping container. This right here is a tiny shipping container home. Behind me, it's a 20 foot long container, but definitely packs a punch, has actually some very nice and luxurious amenities and makes great great use of the space. And also, again, like I mentioned for Invas Casa, the location as well is also just absolutely perfect. It's basically directly in between uh, Bryce Canyon and Zion National Park, which are just two gorgeous national parks you can find here in Utah. So not only do you have this great shipping container home, you also have a great location access to two amazing national parks. But if you want to learn more about the shipping container home, the link out to its Airbnb listing as usual down in the video description. If you want to also book this shipping container home, any other shipping container home, tiny house, tree house, anything like that anywhere in the world at Airbnb. Use my affiliate code linked down below as well to save money off your next booking. But let's not waste another second, guys. I'm pumped to showcase this tiny container home to you here on the channel. So let's start the tour. Today we'll be in Orderville, Utah, which as mentioned is smack dab in the middle between Zion and Bryce Canyon. And this is the location of the property. It is right next to this beautiful red cliffside area and the location just could not be beat. Now, in terms of the actual layout of the property, there are three tiny houses, five shipping container homes, and some spots for some RVs. I'll be covering the tiny houses on next week's episode, so stay tuned for that. But now it's definitely time to check into our own tiny shipping container home here on the property. They're all here on the right hand side as soon as you pull up. Ours is the white one at the end. But again, in terms of the actual layout of this property, there are five tiny shipping container homes kind of all together in this one area. And all of them are made from 20 foot long shipping containers. This is another bird's eye view of the whole property. Uh, in next week's episode, I'll do kind of an overview of the other amenities available to you here on the property. But I think now we get a little bit closer and get more in depth on our own specific shipping container home. So we're at shipping container home number one. It's the white one kind of right at the end. Again, there are five different ones here in the property. And one of the first things you might be eyeing from this drone shot is actually the second floor deck. Now to get up top to your rooftop deck area, we're gonna climb up this ladder which is attached to the side of the shipping container home. So we're gonna get up top and this is your rooftop deck. I believe the owner has definitely built this area with stargazing actually in mind because the stars are just so clear and out at night. There's not a lot of pollution or a ton around here. So it makes for perfect conditions. But now I think it's definitely time to check out the interior. Welcome to the interior of your tiny shipping container home out here in Utah. So you're gonna notice that the kitchen area is on the left hand side, there's in a fridge and a little table in the middle, and the bed is off on the far wall. First things first, we're going to focus on the bed area over here. And I actually kind of loved it how the bed took up this entire space. You know how you're surrounded by three walls? I think it just kind of made it feel even more cozy in my opinion. But the other thing I'll definitely point out as well is the entertainment options. They did have a TV with the full setup of Netflix and Amazon Prime, you know, all that good stuff. Right beneath the bed then, there is this big drawer, basically a bunch of storage space for more kitchen supplies and some blankets and linens off in the left hand side. Next we'll focus on this little area next to the bed and you're gonna see that black table that actually is a fold out table. Like a lot of tiny houses I've been seeing you can leave it up against the wall to save some space or you can fold it out like this. On top of the table I found a candle and then two remotes. Uh, the first remote is for the TV and the second remote is for the air conditioning. But when I fold it out and pulled up some chairs this was basically my go to workspace also where I ate all of my meals. So this is what the main area looks like with the table and those chairs all fully set up. But now we're going to focus on the kitchen area and you have a little fridge down there. You can store, you know, some drinks or some water from your hiking, because trust me, you're gonna need it if you're in the area. And right on top of the fridge, you have a hot plate. I use that to boil some water and make some pasta one night. Next, we'll focus on the kitchen counter area because the host left a bunch of goodies for you and cleaning supplies out here on the counter. So basically, Going from right to left, you actually have first a little cookie jar. I was there in the fall, so there was some nice kind of pumpkin looking uh, sugar cookies that they left behind. And also because of the whole COVID era, of course, there's also a bunch of cleaning supplies, everything from wipes to hand sanitizer to fabric sanitizer, just everything you might need to clean if you wanna do that. 
And now finally, right around the sink area, you have a Keurig and also just a ton of coffee and tea options. I also had hot chocolate pretty much every day I was there. It was super, super cold. And then last but not least, you have a microwave above all of that. I always love it whenever Airbnbs have a personal touch to it. So actually over here in the corner, it says, welcome to Cliffside Mike. And it's Cliffside because the official name of this whole property as a whole is Cliffside Cabins and RV Park. This is their Instagram right here. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and also consider subscribing. I come out with weekly videos just like this of the best and most unique Airbnbs, everything from tiny houses to tree houses and more. The last thing I'll mention in the main area is you can very easily open and close the blinds on the two front doors just like this. Then also obviously the curtains all around the tiny house as well are pretty easy to open up. The last room I'll cover in the tiny shipping container home is the bathroom is right at the end of the shipping container. And this is your bathroom. It's very white. It's very clean as well. I have absolutely no issues with any of that. And kind of off on the left hand side, you have one towel and your sink and your mirror set up and you have your toilet on the right hand side and another towel rack right above that. Lastly, directly opposite of that whole area is your shower. I especially love the walls with the siding inside the shower. I believe it's aluminum. I could be totally wrong, but I think it's definitely a perfect fit for a shipping container home. Be on the lookout for my next episode here on the channel as I'll be doing a full in-depth tour of the beautiful tiny house units here on the property. Thanks so much for checking out my video tour of this tiny shipping container home in Utah. If you enjoyed the video, please help me out. Give the video a like, give it a thumbs up. Help us reach out to more people here on YouTube, on the platform. Also share the video via Facebook, Reddit, your social media platform of choice, email, text, whatever it may be. And you know, send it to a member or a friend and say, hey, check out this tiny shipping container home in Utah. It's really cool. We should go ahead and you know stay there. Or if you're just a fan of shipping container homes, you know, I'd really appreciate the support and you sharing this video and getting it out there some more. We'll so if you're watching this, you're still not subscribed to the channel, guys, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would help me out so much. I know a lot of you people watching this do not currently subscribe. So I'm talking to you. But I come out with weekly videos. I'm showing you just nonstop, just the best, most unique Airbnbs, accommodations, basically anything that's unique. You can stay in, you can rent that has four walls. I've been shooting lately. I have just so much exciting content and videos coming out. So be sure to subscribe for weekly videos just like this. And last but not least, I'm gonna link up my playlist just somewhere up top here. Just kind of my favorite, just most unique Airbnbs. My favorite videos basically I've shot so far here on the channel. So if you enjoyed this shipping container home, I have plenty of other videos just like it. Everything from shipping containers to tiny houses to tree houses to A-frame cabins, you name it, I probably shot it. So be sure to check out the playlist, watch some more of my videos. I really appreciate the support. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next episode.